Welcome dear learners, welcome to Ashvi management classes. Dear learners, in the last session we have discussed chapter number 3 that is industry and company profile. Today we will try to understand chapter number 4 that is data analysis and interpretations. Now, what do you mean by data? Data is information recorded to represent facts. So, if you want to conduct some data analysis, you should have some data in your hand. Now, how to get this data? See, data should always be collected based on your objectives. So, in chapter number 1, whatever the objectives you have stated, to satisfy those objectives, you need to collect the data or you, your data should be relevant or your data should be used to answer those objectives. So, you should collect the data in such a manner. Now, data can be either primary or secondary. So, primary data is basically used in subjects like uh, human resource and marketing. Secondary data is mainly used in financial, fi financial management or finance, uh, finance students will be using uh, this secondary data sources. Now, that is uh, readily published reports. Now, when you are collecting the primary data, you will be using some questionnaires or some you will be uh, observing some things or uh, particular situations or you will be interviewing few people out of which you will be drawing some conclusions. You will be analyzing it and drawing some conclusions. But in case of secondary data, you will be collecting or you will be gathering this data from readily available sources like published reports, journals, the company's uh, websites, etc, etc and you will be analyzing. Now, how to analyze this data? See, once you have data in your hand, you should first edit this data, then code that data and then tabulate that data so that it gives a good picture to analyze. Now, for analysis part, you can use Microsoft Excel or other statistical packages like SPSS if you want to make or uh, make use of some advanced tools. If you are good, if you are having good knowledge on SPSS, you can also use SPSS or eViews. These softwares will help you. You can analyze your data by representing your data in a tabular format and also using some graphs to give a good picture of the data. So, how best you analyze your data, you can suggest, uh, you can you can make, uh, you can state your findings and you can suggest and conclude your study in the best manner. So, data analysis and interpretation forms an important part of the whole project report. Now, some tips I would like to give so that you can analyze your data in a nice manner. See, Take up each object you and try to match it with the data and discuss or analyze the data in a sequential manage, manner as listed or as per uh, the objectives. And next, try to analyze or use some judicious uh, graphs and other tools to analyze the data. So, these tips will help you in analyzing your data in a, a good manner and it will help you in writing your findings, suggestions and conclusions in the next session. 
so i hope you understood the data analysis and interpretation part in the next session we will be coming up with a video on chapter number 5 that is how to write up findings suggestions and conclusions till then good day goodbye